Good morning, Living Water. I'm here today to walk through Colossians chapter 2. Uh, this chapter of Colossians is just a continuation of Paul um, encouraging fellow believers. He's actually in a jail cell, and so he's doing everything that he can in his power um, to just continue to walk these people through what Jesus has done for them, to encourage them to live that out, um, to encourage them not to get caught up in uh, the false teachers that are coming around, but to remember exactly what Jesus did um, and what that means for them now. And so I'm just going to kind of give you a little bit of what just really grabbed hold of me uh, reading chapter 2. Uh, chapter 2, the beginning is just, again, Paul just um, continuing to encourage and, and let people know that he's excited about what they're doing and how they're growing. And um, so I want to get to chapter, or excuse me, verse 6. Um, this is just really what grabbed hold of me through this whole passage. Uh, it says, So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in Him, rooted and built up in Him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thanksgiving or thankfulness. And so, um, there was a couple of words in there that I heard and it just really resonated with me and I'm even right now just still kind of walking through uh, evaluating myself and my walk with Christ. And so obviously the first thing um, that I heard is to walk in Him. So what that means to me is that I need to be a reflection. If I call myself a Christian, um, then I need to be ref reflecting Jesus Christ's character in the things that I do, in the things that I say. Um, Jesus loved, cared for, guided um, his people that he, he loved, he truly loved, and those are things that he did. And so am I a reflection of that? Am I doing what he did? Am I walking in him in my life? Um, and then the second word that really I think probably is the one that resonated with me the most is um, to be rooted in him deeply rooted in him him being Jesus Christ um, so let's let's talk about that word rooted um, the teacher in me is coming out and I say okay what are some synonyms words that are similar to rooted and that's um, grounded established um, firm fixed on based on um, and so in my mind immediately I just got this picture and um, it's kind of why I decided to come outside of uh, a tree and the fact that it needs roots uh, a root system to grow and so um, roots go deeper than the surface level you don't see the roots but you see a reflection of what the roots are doing and so um, first of all roots they go down deep and search for those life-giving nutrients um, they spread out um, to create this firm foundation where they can really be grounded and secure um, and so my picture is is am I rooted in Christ have I gone deeper in my relationship um, for those life-giving nutrients um, am I digging in the word uh, to help me with those uh, to become grounded to have that to establish that faith in Jesus um, the only way I'm going to grow is to put down those deep roots and so am I rooted in Jesus Christ um, and then the next part after that is to be built up in or to strengthen in my faith so I've got to continue to um, be rooted in order to be strengthened and uh, and so just this picture of the trees like you know and even the plants and flowers and all that are blooming right now and the rain that's saturating it and helping it to grow like all of that is just this picture of me or excuse me to me of what my faith in Jesus Christ should look like um, and that's what I grabbed from what Paul was writing is, is um, am I rooted and am I overflowing with the gratitude of the fact that Jesus Christ saved me 
That's it. That simple gospel is that if I believe in him and I believe that he was uh, born um, of Mary, uh, that he became flesh and blood uh, from God the Father um, in human form here on earth, that he lived a perfect sinless life, um, that he was crucified um, for speaking out on the prophecy that had been told forever ago, and that he didn't stay there, that he rose from the grave, and he now sits on the right hand of the Father, and he is there for me. That is what I believe, and that is what Jesus Christ said, that there's no other no other works or anything else that um, is required. And Paul goes into that further um, in uh, chapter 2. Actually, he's talked about this for a while now. But um, So, two questions that I walked away um, from Colossians chapter 2 was, first of all, is how far down deep are my roots in Christ? Right? And um, what am I doing... Number two, what am I doing to spread my roots farther and wider um, to be strengthened in my faith in Jesus? What am I doing? It's a lifelong process. I mean, just like trees, they live forever. They don't just stop growing. They continue to grow. They continue to spread their roots. I mean, you know how hard it is to get up a tree that's been there for a long, long time. Those roots are strong and, and they stretch out far. And so what am I doing? What am I doing to continue my growth in my faith in Jesus Christ? And so I challenge you the same. Ask yourself those two questions and look down deep. Um, you know, sometimes we tend to, to have moments where we dig deep and then we kind of just plane off. And so ch I challenge you to look at that and say to yourself, okay, what am I doing? Uh, what can I do? And so that's what I walked away with from Colossians 2. Um, I pray that you would ask yourself those same questions and that we can grow and walk in our walk together. Thanks, Living Water. Love you guys.